people fear, uh, tentatively drugs, but he's really busy right now, and myself. That's our creative team. No one else is getting on it for at least the first seven days. Um, you won't be able to mine or build when you come in either. Like, you'll have to level up and, you know, just kind of play around with it. It's going to be fun. Um, <clears throat> you know, like I said, if you want, if you really want to build a place to live where you hang out, you're going to need to make it more like a godly tower. You know, maybe, uh, Angel, you can build, like, a big underwater temple and the final room, there's a boss room, but there's like, you know, a place where you can sit up high on a throne. And when people finally make it to the boss room, you can show up and like watch it. Because we'll be able to teleport. So, you know, the, the DMs will have teleportation ability. We'll come into creative mode and fill our inventory with like tons of food and monster stuff and monster eggs. So we can go around and, you know, basically do it. And then... People that want to play the world but don't want to be adventurers can be NPCs. NPCs that were stuck in a role. Like you could be the mayor of one of the towns. Your job is to manage the town. And, you know, you don't get to go off and have adventures and, like, mine. And you just have to manage your town. Um, you can also come in and build your way up from an adventurer and make your way up into, you know, uh, NPC or even a DM. So there's going to be creation... Dungeon mastering, NPC, and adventuring. Now, I'll tell you guys right now, everyone wants to be in the creation. Ain't going to happen. Most people want to be a DM. Ain't going to happen right away. Some people want to be NPCs. Isn't going to be. But adventurers, that's where it's going to be at. Like, I'd rather be an adventurer, but I'm stuck in the creative mode. So. So, I mean, like I said, it's also one of the things that a lot of people have a bad problem of not finishing projects. So you're going to have to finish the project. If you're, if you're like, oh, I want to help on the arena, then you're there till it's done. Not like, ooh, I want to go do this now. Like, I'm, uh, that's, that's a big thing. It doesn't matter who you are, how long you've been watching the show, what level you get into this world. That is it. People that, you know, on the creative side, if they're like, oh, you know, I'm just, it's not just like, oh, I don't want to play Minecraft anymore, but like, because that, that's not something I can say that's bad. But if you're like, oh, I'm, I'm just bored with this project I'm working on, don't start it if you ain't going to see it through. Angel, you coming in? I saw you were on Far Cry. <clears throat> you know, it, little things like putting doors that function on all the... Oh, thanks, Destiny. Sorry I haven't been playing Destiny of late. No. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys and gals are into the Destiny. Uh, just taking a little break on Destiny right now for a week or two. Uh, I might hop on it later today and or tomorrow to do uh, Zer, but there's not a lot of PS3 streamers either. You know, a lot of people that were streaming PlayStation 3 jumped right to the PS4. Not a problem, Angel. I'll just throw out invites for you. Now, I do apologize for the new direction we're taking in the way that it, it's it's a majorly new direction on the show uh, with Minecraft, because I know a lot of you guys and gals want to play right away. But I think this is going to be the new life we needed in this, you know? We needed 
a little new new life uh, b- kind of breath breathed into the game. Breathe, breathed. I think like anyone else is. I mean, of course, I'm also bound by the very small worlds that are allowed here. You know what I mean? <laughs> six people, five to six people in a world isn't a lot. See, like this chest I put here. A hoe to replace the garden. Um, and a little food for the adventurers. And water, just for fun, you know, kind of for the story side of it. Now, uh, we're not going to leave... It was a body dump. <laughs> uh... the witch hut like i'll come over here maybe put like a chest in the witch hut it's always good uh people to put some food around because we're not gonna let people build you know a property that that we let them kind of um We're not going to let them mine or build right away. They really just have to kind of adventure, which means we have to supply them with food and stuff. I mean, we'll, they'll still be able to farm. That's not, you know, out of the equation. And, you know, it's going to be important for the DMs to be looking at the map and really paying attention to what people are doing. If you see someone coming over or near the witches, you might want to come over here and, you know, maybe you want to, you, you put something really good in the chest yourself and you want to make sure that they have to fight like two witches to get it. I don't know, you know. Wither skeleton skulls are going to be like a trade currency too. Like you'll be able to collect these and you can turn in like five of them to get you know something we're gonna have like a uh, at each town at the very beginning where you spawn in i'm gonna put a bunch of sign posts and the signs will have like the, the major rules and the currency exchange rate and i'll put the same signs in the currency exchange rate in like each village so i'll say like oh five wither skulls equals you know like a block of gold or something something we'll just figure it out something Hello. There he is. So all that kind of makes sense, what I was talking about, like, kind of redirecting our, where we want to go. Yeah. Instead of, like, working on our, like, houses and making them all fancy with farms and stuff, you know, kind of sit and work on bridges and temples and going you can just go down into the the big caverns down below and just occasionally hide better ore and uh a chest i think a lot of the fun will really come when we go to um as dungeon masters you know you'll be like i what let's say i'm i just noticed someone's like down in one of the caverns i might teleport to them and just kind of float near them, invisible, and then put uh, put a couple monster eggs out a few corners away. You know what I mean? You may just want to choose yeah. like one adventurer. You know, uh, oh, oh, there it is. You could uh, maybe you just want to put one adventurer under your watch list. You know, if we have six people in the lobby and there's three dungeon masters and there's three adventurers and each each adventurer can like, you know, have one of us as their god to worship to and we kind of follow them around. <laughs> I wish I could do bigger worlds. I, I, that would make a big difference. I could put like ten people in this world easily. Then I could have like three dungeon masters, three NPCs, and four adventurers. But I can't. So I got to figure out what I can do with what I got. Especially because, you know, a lot of people do this on the PC Minecraft, but not a lot of people play this way on the PS3 or Xbox. 
Yeah. Yeah. So I might I might take my horse away and move it up higher onto my house or something, um, and and figure something out. And then where, when they spawn in, like I'm putting beacons. We might you and Fear and me might have to turn our beacons off down the road. Cause I want to. I'm actually getting, getting rid of mine right now. Well, yeah. I mean, to be honest, your house is like the, you know, the one I think might just have to be destroyed and rethought of. But maybe you, I'm, maybe I'm the. I'm actually destroying it. Yeah, maybe the underwater idea is where you want to go, though. Maybe, or maybe you don't like dealing underwater because it's so much work right now. So just, uh, you know, maybe focus on smaller stuff. The more, you know, like I said, just bridges. Like I'm just flying around looking at the land. I've put signs out that say like. You know, this location, Lighthouse, please talk to Stardust for contract. And the big thing is, you know, if you want to do the project, you got to see it through. Uh, personally, I think some projects like the arena are going to be multiple people. The maze, probably will be multiple people working on it. And like I said, too, you know, people that are creative mode aren't going to be adventurers. So it's kind of like you only got one shot to bow out of creating it and being an adventurer. <laughs> you can't you can't be a creator, a DM, an NPC, and an adventurer, you know. Creators can be NPCs, and they can be creators, and they can be DMs, but that's it. So just, you know... I, I we sat after playing what we did yesterday and talking about where we were. I just was really inspired, and I was like, "Wow, this could be, this could be the thing. This could be the direction we need to go." Um, for us regulars on the show, not to be so bored with the sterility of the game, and then for a good way to manage people to come in and have fun instead of like, you know, yelling at them, "You can't build there. Don't build that. Don't do that." I can simply turn off their, their mining building abilities. And it's like, yeah. come in. Like, literally underwater, in the deepest place I could find, there's, like, a muffled beacon light. And right next to it, there's, like, my Celestial Scimitar, the super powerful diamond sword. So maybe you don't want to fight in the arena for trophies right away because you don't have anything. Maybe you want to just go adventuring and look for, like, the super hit. hit. I mean, it's going to be weeks of building before we, you know, move yeah. on to... I'm taking down command. all my. I'm taking down my diamond blocks. I put on my beacon as well. Literally, <laughs> I had diamond blocks for my, yeah. my beacon. When we course. find when we find the end portal, I want to destroy it after studying it. So the only end so, portal and the only nether portal are in my house. Nice. Um, and we're gonna go to the nether and construct stuff too. And you know, people aren't gonna be allowed to go to the nether unless you know. Like you're gonna have to win the rights to go to the Nether, but that's the thing too is we'll be with in creative bouncing into creative mode. We'll be able to, you know, oh we're about to launch the world for the day. Let's go into creative mode and fill in our inventories full of monster eggs and food. You know, I'll fill you know my Ender chest with the goodies to give out, and uh, I've already hidden probably a hundred chests underwater in caves. Damn. One chest is like. Uh, it's, it's got like five diamonds in it and it's and a whole bunch of potions. It's surrounded by two layers of obsidian and w when people are there that hopefully they'll have to like fight monsters because it's in the dark. You know what I mean? Like the harder the challenge, the better the reward as it should be. Don't forget, you know, a lot of chests are just food and some water and a potion. We'll do a currency exchange thing down the road, but that's not, you know, today's priority. Simple things like I replaced both the, the fake anvils in the blacksmiths with real anvils. Like I said, Skyrim is a Wait, great way. Fake anvils? Well, yeah, they put like two blocks stacked up that look like an anvil. You know, kind of like a you know in the blacksmith in the village they put like lava and a, a furnace and they try to make it look kind of like it, but they don't put anvils. I actually took them out and put real anvils, so people can just go use anvils. You know, because they're not going to be able to... Adventurers don't come in and find property and build. That's not how it works with this world. They come in, I meet them there. They show me the avatar that they're going to be. And let's say they pick an elf. They pick the elf. Elf male. Then I'll throw out leather and a bow and like 50 arrows and a stone sword. I'll give them a stone, one stone everything. And then like maybe I'll give them like a bow. But that's it. And then they go. Let's say they pick like an, og an ogre... Or an orc from Skyrim, maybe I'll throw out chainmail, or 
give them, you know, some iron armor to start with, and, but only give them, like, an axe. I don't know. Like, I mean, everyone will get a pickaxe, uh, a stone pickaxe.